Hello everyone, Jeremy here, and this is the latest game from Gameloft. This is Iron Man 3. It is an endless flyer. Usually we get endless runners, but this is an endless flyer game. And um, it involves Iron Man um, and a guy who does the voice of Iron Man who doesn't sound like who we would think Tony, Tony Stark would sound like. He kind of sounds more like what Spider-Man should sound like in this game. Let's just move Iron Man around, yay. But uh, yeah, anyway, um, this game came out yesterday for iOS is at, and is also available for Android. And it's just one of those games from Gameloft that kind of just leaves a bad taste in your mouth. You know, because the core game is not bad, but um, the way that Gameloft handles it, is you know it leaves much to be desired because obviously they're going after your money they want to suck as much of it out of your wallet as they possibly can and I will show you how they do that in this game but you know once again the core game is you know it's not bad um, so here are the suits of armor that I currently have you have the mark three and then you also have the mark four these are the suits that the game you know, gave you or just kind of had you purchase for, they gave you enough to be able to go this far, but they don't give you enough to uh, build your third piece of armor. Let me show you, for example. So, what I tried to do was buy the Iron Man Mark II armor. And I forget how much it costs. You can either spend experience points, which are right up here, or you can use ISO 8, which is the little bluish um, currency, in order to buy these these uh, pieces of armor. So, for example, the uh, Heartbreaker armor will cost you 45,000 XP or 340 ISO. So, once you do that, fine, you get to unlock the armor, right? Well, no, actually, because then you have to spend 7,000 Stark credits in order to actually build the armor. When I purchased that armor, this Mark II armor, I only had maybe about 2,800 Stark credits on me. So, naturally, I don't have enough to build this set of armor. Because it costs 7,000 credits. So, if I wanted to just, I'm not going to, but if I wanted to just buy these credits and get this out of the way, this is what I would have to do. I would have to spend at least 200 IS, ISO 8 points in order to get 30,000 start credits. Well, how much is 200 ISO 8 in this game? Well, I'm glad you ask. Oh, no internet connected. That is weird. Let's try that again. Okay, so how much is 200 ISO 8? Well, 150 ISO 8 is $1.99, is $1 okay? But 500 ISO 8 is $5. So basically, if I wanted to do this right now, I would have to spend $5. If you want to unlock every single bit of armor in this game, there are 18 pieces of armor, you have to spend $99.99. That is how much it costs to unlock all of the armor. And then once you unlock the armor, you still have to spend the start credits in order to build it, and then you have to wait for the armor to build. Because there's timers. Let's jump into the game, yeah? Because you spent uh, a bit of time talking about in-app purchases, which you can't really avoid in a game off game. And I think that it needs to be said. Best heard from me than jumping into this game and suffering through uh, the purchase system. I don't quite know what's going on here. Is um, I think like the internet connection is a little spotty. I'm not too sure if this game is handled on game off servers or not, but. I know I'm connected to the internet, but the game does not. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this up, and through the magic of editing, we are going to come back once everything is up and running. Okay, we are back. It didn't take long, right? So, 
There's two types of ways to control yourself in this game. You can use the gyroscope, which is basically tilt controls, or, I should have been looking, or you can slide your finger across the bottom of the screen. And um, try my best to keep this in frame. So basically, as Iron Man, you are dodging things, and when you see little enemies like that, you can just move your finger across to destroy them. You can also tap. It's usually better to just go kind of like in a line. I was covering up the volume there. And then you got like these rockets that come flying towards you. And you gotta dodge those. And your health is up at the um, upper left hand portion of the screen. And there you go. Iron Man's down. You can revive Iron Man for 15 ISO 8. Which I would never do. Well, actually, I did one time because I was fighting Crimson Dynamo and I wasn't too sure what they wanted me to do. And he uh, he killed me and it was like one hit. And I was like, no, 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 let's just spin the ISO 8. I want to beat this guy. And I did. So, yeah. So once you're done with, uh, with your run, you go back to Stark Headquarters and you wait for your armor to repair. It'll take... Uh, looks like it was maybe about 17, 18 seconds for this armor to repair. You can skip it if you spend one ISO 8. Of course, but you would never do that, would you? Or you can just try another piece of armor if the timer is too long for you. Let's try again. There are um, different objectives that you have to complete, like right here. Um, I have to reach a distance of 20,000 in a single run, defeat 50 enemies in a single run. That's freaking hard. Defeating 50 enemies in a single run in this game? Get out of here. But of course, you can pay to skip those challenges if you want. So let's just try this one more time. Go, go, Iron Man. And here are the start credits. These are the red things that I'm collecting throughout the stage. And that was a power-up that I missed. But you know what? The danger wasn't worth it. There are different enemies to fight other than these yellow and black creatures. Take that guy, for example, who just hit me. I could have dodged that, but I didn't. There we go. I hate these missiles. Oh, my God. And Iron Man's health, you know, it depletes so fast. For an endless runner, I really don't want to complain because usually in endless runners, you, you know, you get one chance. And if you screw up, that's it. Like I screwed up there, and that's it. Yeah, so um, I am not going to keep going. But um, let's just see how long the repair time is for this particular run and you see at the end I got 63 star credits 245 experience points so you can just imagine how long it'll take you to reach 7,000 star credits or 35,000 experience points utterly ridiculous so it'll take about 20 seconds so the timer goes up and up and up and up and up and there's really just no need for that. It's clearly a ploy to get you to spin ISO 8 because look how shiny and gold it is. It really grabs your attention. But, um, yeah, it's a bastardization of in app purchases from Gameloft. Uh, once again, you know, this game is not bad. Um, if, if they didn't make you jump through so many hoops just to get armor, because clearly they want you to buy the armor instead of just earning it through the game and using currency, they give you, you level up and they give you one. ISO 8. A single ISO 8 for leveling up and doing all those objectives. Because they want you to buy it. So, you have to decide whether on principle you are going to avoid a game like this, or if you just don't care and you just kind of just want to play for a little bit, then delete it. You know, hey, that's also fine. You can do whatever you like. But this is what you're going to be getting into with Iron Man uh, 3, the game. So if you don't want to spend any money, just know that you're not going to be able to see the really cool armor. That's just the way it is, and um, best to, best of luck to you um, on that. So, till next time, I'm Jeremy, and um, go see Iron Man 3 in theaters, because it'll cost you a lot less than playing this game and getting everything. I'll see you next time.